can't thank you enough for celebrating this grand opening with us. We're very excited about uh, the facility and what we're going to share with you today. Uh, my name is Jay Hamby, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm excited about this opportunity. Uh, I'm the Vice President of Operations, Midwest Operations for Atlantic Aviation. Um, I want to take you guys back uh, a couple years ago when, you know, our business and development team, uh, through great negotiations, won uh, an RFP here, and we got the opportunity to become the second FBO on this, on this airport. Um, they gave us a great canvas to work with, and what we've tried to do as operations personnel is paint the best picture we possibly could by creating this facility that you see behind us today. Um, when we look at the facility that we built today, obviously th this is a growing market. We wanted to build a facility that could accommodate today's traffic and the traffic of the future. So, you know, with the lease that we have here, we think that we've been able to accomplish that. Um, we recognize the FBO as a gateway to the community. And it was our goal to build a gateway that all of our stakeholders could be very proud of. And I hope that we've accomplished that. We recognize that the customers that walk through these doors have homes in this community, they go to Deer Valley, they go to Park City. We wanted this facility to be the first impression that they get and a lasting impression. And again, I hope we've been able to do that. Um, you know, when we look to build a new facility in a market, we want the facility that we build to be reflective of the architecture that uh, we see in the market. And for our design cues here, we used uh, the Montage and Creek City as some of the inspiration behind the design. Um, at this time, though, I'd like to introduce our CEO. Um, he's a great friend of mine. He's my mentor. Uh, Mr. Lewis Pepper, and he's going to talk to you more about the, the facility and what's, what was behind it. So, Lou. Thank you. Thank you, Jay, and once again, um, welcome, and thank you so much for coming today. So, um, you don't do a facility like this just with money. It takes a lot of people. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of people pulling in the same direction and working toward the same goal. And um, uh, we have uh, 70 FBOs in the Atlantic FBO chain, and um, we're the second largest FBO chain in America. Uh, this is the second largest growing airport in America. I just heard that from Mr. Wyatt, so I'm gonna use it immediately. <laughs> and it's the third hippest city in America, so we're very proud of that. We're very proud to be here. Um, uh, Salt Lake has been a target of ours for such a long time because it's such a growing, vibrant um, community and, and, and area, and so we're really happy to be here. Uh, this facility cost was an investment of around $30 million, and that's a pretty hefty investment, and we're, um, uh, we don't just make that kind of investment lightly, so we, we do feel like there's a, there's a, long, um, a long relationship here to go. Um, just to give you some, uh, like, uh, baby brag book stats, uh, it's got uh, 12,000 square feet of office space, two 30,000 square foot hangars, um, shop, office and shop space totaling 12,000 feet, and a 90,000 gallon horizontal fuel tank. So when you fuel farms, when you see the vertical farm out there, that's, that's not ours. Ours are the state-of-the-art horizontal tanks. So that's really good things. So as I said earlier, you can't do this project without a lot of people and a lot of people pulling in the same direction. Um, at Atlantic, uh, it, when Atla Atlantic's in a community, as Jay said, we try to uh, reflect the community, but we're also symbiotic with the community. And, and our customers are, in a sense, your customers. The people that come to Salt Lake, the first impression they get usually um, is at the airport. And, and in this case, we hope that this is a very good first impression for people that are going to do business here, set their businesses up, up here, or just live here. So I'd like to recognize a few people um, while I have this podium for just another minute or so, and then I'm going to turn it over to uh, my dear friend, Bill Wyatt. Um, so first I'd like to introduce um, uh, the Honorable Mayor Biskupski, Jackie. 
and I hope I hope I got that right. But um, I, I was just I was just uh, I was just talking to um, the honorable mayor uh, and telling her what a great city this is and how uh, it's a picture postcard wherever you look. So, Salt Lake is a great city. Bill Wyatt. Um, Bill and I have done this before. This is like a deja vu thing. Every place we go, Bill's there. Every place Bill goes, we're there. So um, he is uh, the, uh, the absolute best uh, director of airports that we've ever worked with. And we've worked with a lot of very good ones, with all due respect to them. But Bill is the cream of the crop. And we're so glad he's here. And everyone should be, just be very happy to have somebody of Bill's caliber here uh, at Salt Lake. Um, I don't know John Buckner, but if you're here, raise your hand, John. He's not here. Okay, he's Director of Administration and Commercial Services. From what I understand, he was very instrumental in helping us do this project. Um, Mike Rawson, is Mike here? No, oh, that's right. Hey, Mike, good to see you. Uh, airport business, de business Developer, Joel Nelson, Airport Properties and Real Estate Manager. Is Joel here? Okay, I want to recognize him. And, and Sean Wiest, Airport Tenant Relations and Coordinator. Sean? Okay, is he back there? Hi, Sean. Thanks again. Um, so those those are the local people that that uh, really made it happen, from the mayor right down to the airport tenant relations and everybody in between. And there's hundreds of more people that that uh, go into this kind of development. Um, just some quick additional recognitions. Uh, the guys from Big D Construction have done the construction on this facility. Uh, Rich Hazel, Matt Heslip. Ryan Werner, Jesse Jacobson, Palmer Christensen, and Shaylee Danes. So thank you guys, they're here somewhere. Um, our architectural firm that we use for about half of our construction is um, JRMA out of um, Orange County, California. Dan Bianco, Rich uh, Jimenez, and Shiraz, and I can't pronounce Shiraz's last name. Are y'all guys all here? Okay. <laughs> And then uh, Andy and Kim Beal, uh, they do ramp construction work, and uh, there's a ton of that in this kind of operation. We had a lot of that in this, in this, um, in this project, so uh, those guys also are, are, are worthy of recognition. Um, the Atlantic team, Ahed, Robert Panetto, Brandon, and Vlad, thank you guys, good job. And then um, the entire SLC staff, Great job. Uh, I also want to thank um, our um, good, dear friends from TAC Air for putting up with us. I don't know if anybody's here from TAC Air, but um, we, they are good people. They're good friends of ours. Um, we had to cross over and use ramps and share ramps and stuff, and they've been very, very supportive of us. So I really want to put in a good word um, for those guys as well. Uh, and so, uh, as I said earlier, I'm going to turn it over to Bill Wyatt now. Again, thank you very much. And Bill, Great. I'll turn it over to you. Thank you so much. Uh, well, Lou, thank you very much. It's great fun for me to <clears throat> go from airport to airport and help open Atlantic Aviation facilities. Um, <clears throat> and I did uh, have just a terrific experience with Atlantic in my, uh, my prior work in Portland. And the... Uh, uh, they purchased a local FBO, and you know we were all kind of wondering how this was going to turn out. Uh, and they turned right around in a very uh, difficult uh, time in the world of general aviation and made a tremendous uh, investment. So when I drove up today, I hadn't actually been in the facility. I thought, wow, this looks remarkably familiar to me. Uh, and we're so happy to uh, to have uh, Atlantic here. This side of the airfield uh, is sometimes overshadowed by that little project uh, on the other side, but it shouldn't be because general aviation uh, is a critical uh, part of the local economy, particularly uh, in this region, uh, given our proximity uh, to the mountains and skiing and, uh, and all of the tech development on the Wasatch Front. So uh, there is a, a lot going on that's gonna continue to drive the world of, uh, of general aviation. Atlantic in particular is a great company. I've had a lot of experience uh, with them and with their customers, uh, and they're very, very highly regarded, and I couldn't be happier uh, to be here today and help inaugurate this beautiful uh, facility, which will contribute so much to the health and growth and well-being uh, of this great community. So congratulations, number one, and thank you so very, very much. All right.
Great. Well, thank you, everyone, for being here. It certainly is a pleasure for me to help celebrate the opening of the Atlantic Aviation's new facility. Atlantic Aviation has a reputation for excellence, and this new terminal building shows their commitment to taking it to the next level to provide that exceptional service for their customers. And as Bill mentioned, the work you have done and what you have invested on this side of the airport is as much a part of our long-term success of the new SLC as the construction across the way. Each dollar Atlantic Aviation has invested in these new facilities creates new opportunities for our city and this region. Your investment not only helps us keep things like the Sundance Film Festival here, but also helps us generate $151 million of economic activity annually through that event. And it will also be a critical factor in our new global business uh, endeavor that we are underway with, continuing to expand our city and our opportunities as the crossroads of the West. So thank you so much for your commitment to Salt Lake City and congratulations on this remarkable facility. Good afternoon, my name is Lisa Ostrander and I'm here with the Salt Lake Chamber and I just first wanna say thank you to both Nancy with the airport as well as um, Atlantic Aviation for having us here today. Um, we're very lucky as the Salt Lake Chamber to stand as the voice of business, to champion community prosperity, and to support our members' success. And so we're really looking forward to having Atlantic Aviation here in Salt Lake um, to really help them thrive and continue to grow as our great state of Utah continues to do the same. So um, with that, I'm actually gonna pass it back to Mayor Jackie Biskupski, who's gonna read this um, statement of support from us here at the Chamber. And again, welcome to the community and we're happy to have you here. So the Chamber uh, is um, providing Atlantic Aviation a statement of support. We, the President's Ambassadors, as the Goodwill Ambassadors for the Salt Lake Chamber, representing more than 8,000 Utah businesses and more than one half of the state's workforce, acknowledge Atlantic Aviation for its significant investment and support of our community. Recognizing Utah has been named as the number one state in the nation for business and careers by Forbes magazine. That's number one. Let's not skip over that. We, in turn, recognize Atlantic Aviation for its contribution to the Utah business community and this national recognition. We further recognize the significant investment required for corporate expansion and applaud Atlantic Aviation for not only taking such a risk, but also for having had the confidence to do so in the great state of Utah. It is with great honor we therefore acknowledge Atlantic Aviation as an important part of the Utah business community and state economy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thanks to the chamber, and um, we are honored to have this. And again, this this state is number one in our book as well. 